President Obama has called on Vladimir Putin to withdraw support for these pro-Russian forces. He has been ignored. The Kiev government threatened to use force to drive them out of government buildings they had seized in eastern Ukraine. But deadlines have come and gone, while Ukrainian government forces have done little but rattle their sabers in military exercises. Pro-Russian forces in eastern Ukrainian towns like Slavyansk have shrugged off Kiev's threats. So the government has appealed to the UN to send peacekeepers. On the capital's streets, people are demanding a more aggressive response. We demand the mobilization of forces immediately to support the eastern regions in the struggle against separatists. We are giving them a 24-hour deadline to do this. We are all Ukrainians and we have to stick together, but our government is holding us back. We've had enough violence. Something needs to be done urgently. We don't want the same situation as in the East. President Putin has denied any Russian involvement in these uprisings. The European Union has expanded sanctions against his inner circle and threatened to tighten the noose on Russia's economy. But so far, Russia's president has shown again that he believes that maintaining the Kremlin's dominance over its neighbor makes the bee stings of his critics bearable.